Frank. Samantha Smith was a young 11-year-old girl living in Maine in the 80s who wanted world peace. Ever since her death in a plane crash, they honored her by creating the challenge and naming it after her. The five topics we could have chosen were drug abuse, animal rights, environment, hunger, disease, and economy. Hi, my name is Kaya, and I'm going to be talking to you about the script, the result, the wordle, and the All About Us paragraph. Um, before we started the project, we had to take a survey and to pick what topic we wanted to do. And um, we had five different choices, and when we got the results, I, I got my first choice, and many other kids did too. Um, around the second day, we started our wordle. And in the world, we took a bunch of the words that had to do with our topic and put them together <clears throat> on a separate sheet of paper on the binder. I think the world helped us to start thinking about what our local problem is. The first week, we started the All About Us paragraph. And the paragraph was our thoughts on why we chose a topic. And I chose this topic because I wanted to learn more about why people use drugs and alcohol. And I think this helped us start off the process of our project. Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm going to be talking about the team building activity we did. For our team building activity, we traced around one of our group members. As a group, we came up with ideas for things that could help the group, and we put them inside the body. And then we, we then came up with things that we shouldn't do while we met, and we put them outside the body. This helped us because some of us aren't the bestest of friends, and we don't get along together. So by brainstorming these things together, they helped us cooperate with each other during the meeting, not get into fights. This worked well for everyone because you get along better now. The problem we are working on is drug and alcohol abuse at York High School. The biggest problem at York High School is alcohol abuse. The second is marijuana, and the third biggest problem is prescription drug abuse. In a survey, about 30% of students report that they abuse drugs. As a group, we decided that the best way to solve the issue of drug and alcohol abuse at York High School was to raise money for a program called Tidal Waves. Tidal Waves is a program that spreads awareness on drug and alcohol abuse at the York High School. It helps solve the problem. We think that giving the money to Tidal Waves is important because the group is made up of high schoolers and that is the main problem. We also think that the money is important, important because they can use it to spread awareness and buy supplies. Our topic is drug abuse and we will be talking to you about the steps to find the solution. My name is Max. My name is Camden. So we made our task list based on our initial idea of creating a dance to fundraise money to donate to Tidal Waves. We divided up our task list and started on, a, started on our individual task. When everything was done and finished on our individual task, we took our idea up to the administration. We couldn't do the dance, so now we're planning to do a breakfast cart. And now we are working on a new task list. Hi, my name is Jonathan. One of, my, one of the standards we had to complete was conducting a short research project in order to accomplish this. We individually made our own flyers as a group. We brainstormed topics related to drug and alcohol abuse. After that, we each chose a topic that interested us. <clears throat> we worked diligently on our flyers and were able to complete them in a timely manner. By the time we were all finished, we had gathered a lot of facts and information. Hi, my name is Greg, and I'll be talking to you about Smith Smith's schedule. Our schedule has had many twists and turns. I think our most successful time was the first full day of working. On this day, we finished all of our research and started to talk about our idea. The social studies time was pretty good, but without our whole group, it was hard to get a whole lot done. The advisory time taught us to get back together and talk about what we had been doing in social studies. The second full day is when we fell behind and we had two subs and one was subbing for our group leader. On this day, we disagreed on many things and struggled to um, think of an idea. Next time, we're really going to talk to you about our setbacks. Hi, my name is Tyler. And hi, my name is Will. We're going to talk about the problems and difficulties we had as a group and the setbacks causing and changing of ideas. One of the problems we had as a group is that we all had different ideas for possible solutions. And they were all good ideas, but we had to narrow it down to one. We were able to eliminate a few of the ideas for various reasons, but we were still left with a couple. And in the end, we ended up taking a vote. Another problem we had, and probably our biggest setback, was when the school administrator said they were not allowed to have a fundraiser. So we had to restart the process of coming up with a fundraiser. 
Hi, my name is Cody. I'll be talking about the positive as aspects of our group. Our group is very hardworking and respectful to each other. Everyone is included in, in the group and no one was ever excluded. If someone had an idea, we would let them speak. Everyone had great ideas for the fundraiser. If someone, if someone was struggling with something, all of us would help them. Everyone would be respectful to each other's ideas. I'm Lauren and I'm talking about contacting the stakeholders. Contacting the stakeholders was not challenging and we connected through email and got responses quickly. One person we contacted was Mrs. Brodsky, who runs Tidal Waves at the high school. She told us that the group needed to con needed money to buy t-shirts, so we started planning a fundraiser. Besides Mrs. Brodsky, we contacted Officer Rooney and Principal Stephen. We also had the opportunity to watch a Tidal Waves presentation that was beginning was being given to all 8th graders at the York Middle School. Ms. Riley, and what we learned about drug abuse is how serious it is in our community. We learned about how common this problem is and how deadly the consequences are. We will be entering this environment in just a year and a half, so the problem might start to affect us really soon. What we learned about service learning is that it's important to help those around you and to know that you can make a difference no matter how young you are.